I want to quick show you Crowdcast, the ins and outs of Crowdcast, how you make sure that you're registered, making sure your settings are set, and then showing you um, just the real fast and easy ways to get registered for a class just so you know how to navigate. So when you're in Crowdcast, um, this is the main Crowdcast page, you've got your account set up. It's super easy to, to sign up. It's free for you as the user. And so once you're on the Crowdcast site, um, you'll want to go to your dashboard. And so your dashboard is going to show you um, – this is on the desktop also. You, I'm not going to show you the app right now. The app the app is useful after you've registered. You can definitely register on the app too, but I find that it's, it's just easier to do it on your computer, on your desktop. And then if you want to view from your phone, you can later on. So I'm going to show you desktop for now. So your, your desktop um, view looks like this for your dashboard. I have not joined any events yet. This is my test account. Um, but if you were registered for any classes, they would show up here. And when you do register for classes on Crowdcast, you also get email confirmation immediately. And the other thing is once you're registered for a class, you don't even need to go into Crowdcast. You can just click the link right from the Facebook group too. So, But you do have to register for it. So. Let's say you are in Crowdcast and you've got your account set up. You you are all signed up for Crowdcast. Now, a couple of things you want to check um, in your account. So on these little three lines, if you just hover, okay, it's going to bring up your options here. You can go to your profile, and this is really important to edit your profile so that it's you, okay, so that when you register for a class, I know it's you. And um, right now, it's not it's not as important, but later on it will be. And it does need to have your first and last name so I know who's taking the class. And so you can just click edit real easy, just like any social media site. You can edit your name. Um, please include your first and last name, um, your username if you want to change that picture. Uh, you can put a little bio, maybe just say where you're from. Little Just stuff that, because then other people can find out too, you know. It's, it's fun to, to learn who also is taking the classes with you. And then you just click save. Um, the other thing that you really want to make sure in Crowdcast is go to that same little area and you're going to go down to settings, okay. So in your settings tab, um, it will say that you're a Crowdcast attendee. Okay, you do not have to pay. If you want to pay, that means you want to do live streams yourself. So um, they'll show up there, but you do not have to select any of these just as a user to watch my classes. So scroll all the way down, though, and here's what you do want to make sure you have set. Crowdcast is a little odd. You do have to go into this area and set a password. And if you don't do this step, then when you register for a class, it adds an additional step where they have to email you the registration thing and it just it's just an extra step that I just don't understand but it's there right now so uh, make sure you go into your settings and do enter a password save that and then make sure you have your email set as well and save that so now that you have all of those things set you are ready to go so now let's go back to uh, Facebook and let's say you're ready to join a class and register so you're in our group um, I'll get to the group here and the link for the classes are always on that class links post or in the event itself. And the cool thing about Crowdcast is that, let's just take Pio today. We just finished Pio a couple hours ago. This link, this it's the same link to register. It's the same link to click the live broadcast. And it's the same link for the replay. It's all one link, no matter what. And so if you're ever stuck, like, where do I go to watch the replay? It's this link right here. Or where do I go to register? It's this link right here. Well, where do I go to watch the live stream? It's this link right here. It's all the same link. And so, of course, I've given you this password, uh, this code to, to bypass the cost right now. And so you just click on the link. It's going to take you right to the landing page for this particular uh, class. And then you're going to look to see, okay, join this class. Price shows $10, but you have the coupon code. So make sure you select that. And you just type in member, all capitals right now. And it will instantly take off 100% for you. And then you can click join this class. Click yes, you agree. Yes, you're 18. Register. Boom. That's it. That's all you have to do if you have those settings set in the first place, your profile and that password set up. Now, because I've already live streamed, this is the replay. So I can click the replay. There's the workout, right? Now, if you're someone who prefers YouTube, here's where you find the YouTube links. YouTube links are going to be inside Crowdcast now. So we're inside Crowdcast. You have this button down here that says YouTube stream. If you click it, it takes you immediately right to the YouTube stream. Same exact workout but on YouTube. So if you're someone who prefers YouTube or you like to use YouTube because you can cast easier to your TV, um, then you can definitely do that. And then we can go back to Crowdcast, the other place I put the YouTube stream. So it's down here in this button, 
or I will always have it right up here in the top of the chat on Crowdcast. So same exact link takes you right to YouTube for the YouTube stream. Um, now the cool thing with Crowdcast that is different than YouTube, the chat stays open in t the entire time the the replay is up. So that's what's really cool because if you're doing the replay, which I know a lot of you do, then you can still chat. And then I try to check it in the evening to see, okay, who showed up and who's chatting back. Um, right now, Crowdcast does not have any features where you can tag people. Um, so, so I don't get notified when there's new chat comments. So I just try to come back and look. Uh, they are hoping, I'm hoping that they're working on adding those in. They've told me that they are. Um, but the chat does stay up and open even past the live stream. That's different than YouTube. If you try to go out, if you try to chat on the YouTube chat after it's live, you can't. You can leave comments, but you can't go into the chat. Plus, you can also read the chat from everybody else who is on live, so it's kind of fun. Um, so let me just close these out then, and let's just say you register for the class and you don't have Crowdcast open at all. Now, what happens, because I've already registered and I'm ready to go and take my class later on, maybe that evening, if I click on this link right from the group, it's going to take me immediately right to the replay. So there shouldn't be any extra steps there because I've already registered. So if you're having problems, um, just post them in the group and, and try to post pictures or maybe a little video of what's happening um, because otherwise it's really hard to troubleshoot what's happening and it should be super slick. If you registered, it should just take you right to the replay page. Now, the other thing I want to just quick talk about before I wrap it up here, um, on your phone, once you've registered on your phone or once you've registered on your desktop, if you open the app on your phone, iOS users, you can use the app. Um, if you're an Android user, it just opens up in your browser just as easily. Um, then your events will show up on the phone in the app and you just tap it and it will take you right. I'm looking right at the replay now because I've already registered. Okay. And the same thing, oop, the button shows up for YouTube or at the top of the chat, the link is right there. So same thing. So you guys hope that's helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions about Crowdcast and of course, um, post them in the group. That's the best place to ask questions in the Facebook group because then more people see it and there's lots of techie people in that group that can help and that helps me too so that we can all help each other. All right, you guys have a good day. We'll see ya. Bye.